Welcome to Conlang Critic, the show that gets facts wrong about your favorite Conlang. I'm Jan Misoli, and in this episode, we'll be looking at the language of perception, Ladon. Unlike the other Conlangs we've looked at on this show so far, Ladon is not an international language. While international languages are this show's primary focus, there are many other types of Conlangs out there that deserve to be looked at. Of course, things that are bad for an international language aren't necessarily bad for other types of Conlangs, and vice versa. Ladon is an art lang created by the late Suzette Haddon Elgin in 1982, featured in her book series Native Tongue, with in the native tongue universe, Ladon is a language created by a group of female linguists in the 22nd century as an act of resistance against the oppressive government, which had stripped women of their voting rights in 1996. The point of Ladon, both in native tongue and in the real world, is to be a language that doesn't inherit aspects of a male-dominated society. Many languages treat male like it's the default, but female like it's abnormal. But in Ladon, female is the default. This basic concept was the starting point pretty much every other aspect of Ladon descended from. Not including the phonology and orthography, of course, because that doesn't make sense, but that's the first thing we're looking at anyway. Ladon has a pretty small inventory. It's not very naturalistic, but keep in mind that even in-universe, it's still a constructed language, so the sounds it has were chosen for their aesthetic value rather than their function. The consonants are m, m, b, d, j, th, s, sh, h, w, r, l, y. And here are the vowels. I, u, e, o, a. Also, Ladon is a tonal language, which I think is a very nice touch. Its tonemes are uh, 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 and ah. Uh. Other than tone, the only sound in Ladon that isn't also in English is sh, which is a pretty easy sound to learn how to make. However, due to the large number of sounds that aren't there, you're not going to confuse Ladon with English. Since there's no alveolar fricative, voiceless stops, or low tones, it not only sounds completely different, but also looks completely different just looking at the waveform. This is the exact type of inventory that makes for an interesting art lang. Now, as for the orthography, my only real problem with it is the digraphs. Like, if Ladon had a larger inventory, the use of sh for sh, for example, would make perfect sense, but Ladon isn't using sh to distinguish between s and sh. In fact, the letters s, z, and t only appear in digraphs. This could have been avoided entirely if Ladon instead did something like this. However, I do completely get that this would be a little harder for English speakers to understand, such as the English speakers who are reading a science fiction book and don't want to read an explanation of its future language's orthography. As it is, Ladon's orthography is extremely intuitive to its target audience. I especially like the way it writes tone. See, most tonal languages that use the Latin alphabet either use diacritical marks or numbers that correspond to each of the language's tonemes, so it would be completely naturalistic for Ladon's four tones to be written something like this, or even worse, like this. Instead, Ladon takes advantage of the fact that it only has two tone levels, and writes writes the middle tone with no diacritic, and the high tone with an acute, and writes the rising and falling tones with two letters each. That way, all you really need to say to explain it to someone is that an acute accent means a high tone. This works perfectly for Ladon, and even works better than the way a lot of natural languages write tone. Now we can get to the real selling point for Ladon, its vocabulary. This is where Ladon really reveals itself. The first thing worth pointing out is the suffix id, which means male. It's sort of like the opposite of the English s suffix. But what Ladon does with the id suffix goes way further. Hatheril means the past, but Hatheril id means the past, but with more of a focus on wars and sporting events. As great as that is, there's one problem with this. See, Ladon's word for human also means woman, and Ladon's word for it also means she. Probably unintentionally, Ladon divides people into two categories, male and not male, with no singular term that refers to people without putting them in one of these two categories, and no category more specific than not male. Meaning that, depending on how you interpret it, it's either impossible to specifically talk about women, or it's both impossible to talk about someone without mentioning their gender, you know, like what I just did now, and impossible to talk about people who are non-binary. Either way, this is pretty bad. This problem exists in other languages too, but it's weird that a language designed specifically with feminism as its primary goal would contain any sexism whatsoever. <sighs> Okay, back to the good stuff. Ladon's grammar is full of great un-Englishy features. It's got VSO word order, pockle number, ergativity, and a hate affix. But the most interesting feature, in my opinion, is evidentiality. Every sentence ends with some word indicating how trustworthy the information in it is. So that way you're kind of like citing your sources. There's words for, I observed this firsthand. This truth is self-evident. I heard this from someone I trust. I heard this from someone I distrust. I saw this in a dream once. This is obviously wrong because the person who said it is evil, and I have no idea what I'm talking about. Yeah. <sighs> It's going to be hard to compare Ladon directly to Lojban, Aoi, and Vaudgil. All of those languages were similar enough to one another in what they were trying to accomplish that it was easy to see which ones were doing it best. Ladon isn't doing that. I can't just say, well, Lojban's orthography is less Anglo-centric than Ladon, so it's better. Because that's not what Ladon is trying to do. And even though it does fail to be completely unsexist, that's not really any worse than Lojban failing to treat all country names the same way, or Aoi failing to make sense, or Vaudgil failing to have any redeeming qualities whatsoever 
whatsoever. The difference is that Ladon's other positive qualities make up for it. That in mind, Ladon is the current best conlang reviewed so far. Hey everyone, uh, Jan Misoli here. Uh, I'd just like to thank everyone who's been watching this series for all your support. Uh, if you want to help out the show, um, the best thing that you can do is uh, suggest what conlangs you want to see in future episodes. Uh, there's links in the description uh, to all the places you can do that. Um, oh, you can also follow me on tokiitolipona.tumblr.com. Uh, that's where I'll post updates about future episodes. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Yeah. Okay.